you're shady. Is that is that your intro to shading? Yeah, that's really all I got. Yeah, that's good. That was good. I would feel like uh, I feel like it wasn't great. It was fine. Because we're just shading today. Yeah. So, I don't know. Um, ooh, you're throwing shade. Yeah, that works. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, we're going to shade today. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. But it's going to be great. It's it's super cool. Um, I've always wanted to know how to do it. And I don't know how to do it, so we're going to learn how to do it. So we're not just shading, we're also, like, blending, making stuff look smooth. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Smooth and shady. Smooth and shady. Yeah. So what supplies do we need? Um, paper. Paper. And... Color pastels. Color pastels. I've got mine here. And maybe, like, a paper towel. Yeah, oh, a paper towel. That's a lot of colors on that paper towel. Yeah, it doesn't have to be brand new. This is old watercolor that I blotted off to help it dry. So I'm going to use the same paper towel because where does paper come from? Trees. And what are trees? My home. That's right. So we're trying to save as many trees as we can. Yeah. Okay, so why don't you go over there? Okay, I'll go here. Okay. And I'm going to get my piece of paper ready and I'm using the back of one of my masks and I'm gonna get my color pastel I think I want to draw a sunset so I'm going to draw the Sun right here like that like it's over the horizon line and I'm gonna color it in pretty pretty dark. Okay, and then I'll make a horizon line maybe out of dark green cuz maybe we're maybe we're looking over a meadow. And I'm making it flat just cuz it's a little easier. So now I'm going to make all of this this same color and color it in with my color pastel. And I'm pressing down kind of medium hard. I'm not pressing super super hard, but I'm also not going super light like that kind of going in between just so that oops went over that line that's okay we just made a new line just so that it's getting enough wax on there to make it blendable so we're learning blending and shading more blending than anything All right, so now we have our sky. So remember the sunset that we did in watercolor? We're gonna do that same kind of thing. So any of the kinds of colors that you see in a sunset, you're just gonna kind of put across here like this. And you're, again, pressing like medium hard. There's usually some oranges in there. I'm gonna do a light orange toward the bottom. Go and we can go on top of each other here a little bit, not all the way, not all of it, because we still want some of that yellow to come out. There's some pinks, there's always a little bit of pink in those sunsets, not always, but often. Sometimes there's red, ooh, that's bright, that's gonna look really cool. So, again, I kind of go over some of this, not all of it. I'm going to do a little bit up here, and then I'm going to use blue because the sky is blue. There we go. All right, and I'll do some blue in here a little bit. Now, some of this stuff, if I go over it in blue, it's going to turn green, which is okay, but that's not necessarily the color we're going for. So, I'm all colored in. Now, it looks like it was done in crayons, right? We're going to try to fix that and make it look a little fancier. So, I'm going to take my paper towel. You can also do this with um, sandpaper. And you put a finger 
in the paper towel like this. Okay? So you could just do this with your finger, but then your finger will get very dirty. So I'm just going to go across like this with the paper towel and start blending. And I'm pressing fairly hard. And now you can see the difference that that makes, right? It's a lot smoother. So then I'm going to move to another side because it, it makes the paper towel thin every time you do that. Makes it a little thinner. So see how you can barely even see where I made that line anymore? It's just kind of blending in. And the more you do it, the more it'll blend. And if you go up and down, it'll blend even better. And if you go in circles like this, it'll blend really well too. So you want to keep doing that all over that ground. And again, it's getting kind of thin. There's getting to be a lot on here. So I'm going to move my paper towel and go like that. We're just going to keep doing it. So see how different all of this looks from this? And the more you do it, the more it's going to blend. Okay. Now I'm going to use a completely different side so that it doesn't get any green on it. And I'm going to start with the sunset. So I'm going to start from the sun and I'm going to come out like that. I'm trying not to touch any of that green. So then I'm going to do the same thing out here. So see that it's already starting to blend a little bit. So then we can keep going with it. And now we can just keep going across left to right, right to left. There we go. See how much gets on there. So now we need to move it to a different part across here like that okay and now I'm going to move to another part of the paper towel that's clean and I, you can use your knuckle too if you want so see how I kind of bend my finger going like that I can do that too and just scrape 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 after a while, since you're pressing so hard, your hand might get a little tired. So see how it's filling in all those spots that were white before. And because this isn't all one color, down here we were able to do swirls. Up here, I'm not really doing that because it's it's supposed to be kind of a straight across effect. Although I could try it and see what I got. But it might blend a little more than I want it to. We'll see. There we go. It actually looks okay. I'm all right with that. Maybe one more clean part. There we go. We're doing it. We're blending. We're making art. We can go up and down and see how that makes it different. There we go. Look at that. That is a better sunset than what we started out with. Now, a good way to use your blending is when you want to shade things. So remember these guys? They look, you can still see the in individual lines, right? So if I do that same thing, so I'll get my clean piece of paper towel and I'll go along here and I'll start at the dark spot and I'll just start going back and forth, pressing pretty hard and I'll come up with it 
And I'm just going to do one side first so you can see the difference. So see how different that looks? So look, on this side I did it, on this side I didn't. Okay, so now I'm going to do this side. I'm going to show you how the whole thing can look. And then if you want to, you can keep going so it goes up a little bit more into that white, white spot. So see how that looks so much different than this now? Because you can't see those individual crayon lines. It all kind of blends together. So now we'll do that with the shadow part as well down here. So look at that. You can make it really look like a shadow just by using your finger and a paper towel. And that looks so different than that. Right? Cool. So try it. Try it on anything that you want to make look shadowy or that you want to blend in a little better. Try it on stuff. Show me. Let me know how it works. Um, let me know if you like it. I like it. It's one of my favorite techniques. I like it as well. Good. You like our new sphere? I love it. Good. All right. Well, everybody, have a great day. Have a great night. Yes. And we will see you next time. Yes, we will. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Bye.